Greetings. I spent much of the summer under the tall trees of the great Pacific Northwest. In late July, it was necessary to embark on a 19-day trip. A decision was made to turn off the water during this period. The weather forecast was for hot and dry weather. In my absence, how would it be possible to water these three Japanese maple trees? This small fig tree, this grapevine, and my dear friend, Lily. It's time for the float valve button dripper to come to the rescue. Rocks were placed in the bottom of a yogurt container to keep it from tipping over. Extruded polystyrene foam blocks were placed in the yogurt container. The top was snapped on. And the float valve button dripper was ready to go. There are more details about this in a previous YouTube. The water flow rate can be decreased by adding a second button dripper. When the water level is 3 inches higher than the button drippers, the flow rate is 1.7 milliliters per minute. That is 2.4 liters per day or 48 liters per 20 days. The water source would be a 100 liter water tank. One plant would need about a half a tank of water in 20 days. A one quarter inch hole was drilled. Tubing was inserted into the hole and the tubing was pulled through with a pliers. Tanks need to be elevated above the float valve button dripper device. We're going to irrigate four plants, so two tanks will be needed. Tanks are connected by one quarter inch tubing. Their ends go all the way down to the bottom of their respective tanks. When water flows out of the right tank, water from the left tank will siphon into the right tank so that both tanks will have the same level. Water flows by gravity from the tanks to the float valve button dripper devices. Let's hope that the water continues to drip for the next 19 days while I'm away on the trip. Here the water is dripping in a larger diameter PVC pipe which was placed 6 inches deep when the Japanese maple tree was planted. The float valve for Miss Lily was made from a food storage container but it dripped just fine. I went off on the trip and heard reports of triple digit temperatures and dry weather. Watching all this water flow in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, thoughts turned to the plants back home and I hoped the float valve button drippers would be going drip, drip, drip. Returning back home, the lawn was burnt to a crisp. This hydrangea plant wasn't watered, and it was in a lot of pain. Sorry about that. But the Japanese maple trees, the fig tree, the grapevine, and Miss Lily were doing just fine. It was previously projected that each plant would use about 48 liters per plant, but these four plants used only about 70% of that amount. Siphon action worked and both tanks have the same level of water. Only about half of the projected water rate was delivered to the grapevine and only about 40% of the projected water rate was delivered to the fig tree. Well, we all know that projections and actual results don't always match. 
but I was happy. My plants were alive. And I can take some time in the future to figure out what caused the lower flow rate. Miss Lily and neighbors, how do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs>